Hi guys, today I thought I would film a get ready with me video, nothing special, just getting ready for the day, so I thought I would film it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my foundation, no I'm not, I'm going to take my primer, I'm going to take the Models Prefer Mattifying Primer and I'm going to take maybe a quarter to a half a pump of that, a very small amount, and apply that over my nose and T-zone. Just like so. And then I'm going to take my Inglot Under Makeup Base Primer. About a, pea, a half a pea size to a pea size amount of that one. And just apply that to the rest of my skin. Just like that. So the next thing I'm going to take is my foundation. I'm going to take the Estee Lauder Double Wear Maximum Coverage in Number 3 Creamy Vanilla and a half a pump of the Double Wear Stay in Place in 1W1 Bone, which is their lightest shade. And I've just got that on my palette here. I'm going to get a brush to apply that with. Take the Sigma F80 flat top mix them together a little bit with my finger and then apply that to my face like so and buff it into the skin When you mix in the normal double wear, it does blend out, I mean sheer out the colour a little bit, but I like it just to add a little bit more of a yellow undertone to the normal one. So what do you guys have planned for the day? Today I'm sitting at home doing nothing, trying not to spend money. Been baking like a good little housewife should. Apparently, cupcakes and nan bread and getting everything ready to cook dinner tonight. Tell me what you have planned for this Sunday. Mind you, this probably won't go up on Sun today because I'm just uploading an urban decay, naked, everyday look at the moment. Make sure you always blend the neck. Okay, then just go back over the areas you feel that need it. When I'm going back over the areas, I like to stipple it more so you're not spreading it. You're just trying to concentrate that cover exactly where it is you want it to go. Just like that. Next, I'm going to take some of my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. This is NC20. It's just a sample I got but it's just that one there and I'm going to place that under my eyes like so and then I've got my Estee Lauder Smooth Disappear Smoothing Cream in number three which is another concealer but this one is a quite a peachy undertone and really corrects the under eye circles I have. And I'll just place that like so. And then I go back in with my brush and just try and blend it a little bit. Like so.
just like that. And then I will take my MAC Prep and Prime Finishing Powder, which just looks like this. On a, any sort of setting brush, I'll just take the Furless Pro 5F. And I'll just put a small amount of that to set my under eye concealer. A little bit where my frown lines are and a little bit where my smile lines are. Just like that. Then I go in and do my brows. So I take the MAC gel liner in a dip down on an angled eyeliner brush. I've been loving this one it's from Crown Brush, doesn't have a name or number on it. And they're like four dollars. So I take that in a tiny bit of product. And let me comb out my brows first. It's weird because I'm not used to filming all this bit and trying to do it with the mirror so far away. There you go, I can already tell you I've bugged them up. I'll only film one. No, she will be here forever. Okay, I'll finish the other one. Okay, so I've filled in the other brow. Not that they look that good, but you get the point. I'm going to take my matte block. This is medium dark. And I'm going to set the rest of my foundation. I do like to leave my foundation to sink into the skin a little bit while I do my brows before I go in with my setting powder. Today's I thought I might do like a 50s inspired type eye look, makeup should I say. So I'm going to take my paint pot in soft ochre to prime my eyes with. I think this stuff is so amazing. I love it. Just like so. Next I'm going to take my Urban Decay Naked Palette and I'm going to take a eyeshadow brush. This is just the Furless Pro E2. And I'm going to take that in Naked, which is this one here. You can hear the baby is woken up, of course, because I'm recording. And I'm just going to place that colour on the lid. Next I'm going to take the Pro Blending Fluff or it's 
pretty much a dupe for the MAC 217 and I'm going to take that in this colour here which is Buck just on the end I'm going to place that through the crease give the crease a bit more definition. to take a blending eye brush and I'm going to take that in this colour here and I'm going to place that through the crease, uh, brow bone. I don't know if that's very traditional old Hollywood style but I like to have a highlighted brow bone. Okay, I'm going to go off camera and apply my eyeliner only because I need to hold the camera, the, uh, the mirror so close to me to do it and I'll be back. So as you can see all I've done is watered my upper lash line with the Essence Liquid Eyeliner in waterproof, very dodgily. I suck at winged eyeliner. Next is the S, I did my tight line and my waterline with the Estee Lauder Double Wear in Onyx. And now we're just going to apply a bunch of mascara. on a whole bunch of mascara, I'll be back. Okay, so basically what I did was I applied three coats of, I mean, sorry, two coats of the CoverGirl Clump Crusher, one coat of the Maybelline One by One, and one coat of the Volume Million Lashes. Obviously you could do this eyeliner as dramatic or as simple as you like. It's whatever your preference is. So next we're going to go for a bold red lip. So the first thing I'm going to take is my Essence uh, lip liner in number 10, Femi Patel, and we're going to line the lips. Colour them in. And neaten up any edges. Next I'm going to take my Kate Moss lipstick in number 10 which just looks like this and I'm going to apply that Good. 
and to top it off I'm going to take a little bit of the Essence Stay With Me Lip Gloss in Kiss Kiss Kiss. Like so. For my cheeks I'm going to keep it really simple because it's meant to be all about the liner and the lip. I'm going to take this very natural uh, movie blush which is number 55 by Inglot. And that's the completed look. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Get ready with me. I know it's not the... It's probably pretty boring. I don't know if I'm going to upload it to be honest because it hasn't worked out the way I wanted it to. My lips look like a hot mess, which is frustrating me. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this if you did watch it. And thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like this video and I'll see you next time.